everybody. Welcome to Team Fish Knuckles YouTube channel. This is round number two of the Limitless Online Series week number 14. Expanded challenge. This time around we are playing against Colossal VMAX. So, oh, we lost the coin flip. That's probably the most crucial part of this because you want to get that turn two knockout because this is probably going to be one of the worst matchups for sure. Uh, so, starts with Lacks V, which is great, and Tapu Lele. So, we shall see what happens here, but playing against a fighting deck is never good. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I knew there were probably two matches I was really concerned about. Colossal VMAX and then e uh, Eggs with the Decidueye. Uh, but you gotta take what you can get sometimes. Oh, and Guru start though. So let's see. Maybe they have a bad start. We get that turn two knock on a Colossal V. We shall see though. See Prime Wisdom. Does he play Sudowoodo? He does not play Sudowoodo. So that is very, very good for us. We don't play Max Bush and he plays one. Uh, there's Quick Ball. Discarding the Mime. This Mime is actually really good because we can uh, ace v -C we can AZ up the uh, Spermax V Max if he doesn't one shot it. So, which is like theoretically probably probably impossible. So, but we'll see. Our turn looks very simple right now. It's just this Winona, and then we go crazy. Right, get three of those guys. There's V. There's a Slugma. <clears throat> And we'll see. Yes, I am a little bit nervous, if you don't know. So, right now, we'll just Lele, Spur Card. Let's get Winona. Uh, Alright, let's play the Winona. One, two, three. So, go one, two, three. And then I'm actually going to Ultra Ball, discard the uh, Dede, and Feeblor. Yep, yeah, uh, that's my discard. <laughs> I'm going to grab a, another Snorlax just in case somehow he knocks the one out in the act spot. And we'll press done. There we go. We can beach, we can beach for a ton. <laughs> Okay, there is Matt Cargo, so he'll be able to use that smooth over ability to put any card on top of his deck. We see a quick ball. Uh, this could find Crobat or Lele. Curious to see which one he will grab. Oh, another Claw Space. So he's getting two Claw Space just in case we do get a crazy knockout this turn. And there is an N. So the N is really good for us because our hand was kind of lackluster. If we could find like triple Chichinos. Uh, okay, so there's one. There's a VMAX. Okay. And if we can find a Skyfield, we have Stretcher in hands. And that's why I discarded the Dedede because we can get it back with the Stretcher. So we see a smooth over. Okay. There's a strong energy on that guy. Or stone energy, sorry. Floatstone, Primate Wisdom, to get that one card, I imagine it's probably a Colossal VMAX. And he will start being able to use the Colossal VMAX, which does 40, 90 more, so he is taking that knockout, unfortunately, like I was thinking about. <sighs> and he hit energy. Oh, gosh. Oh, man. I'm so, we're so done, so. It's not even funny. All right, we'll send a Snorlax V on our turn. We'll float V. We'll go Chichino. Uh, I guess it doesn't matter. We'll get another Chichino. Put Chinchino down. We have a better game than we did game one, but unfortunately we had a really bad matchup, so. Mm. Okay. So we'll make dude discard the muck. It's not needing this matchup. He just plays Sarudo. Get another one of these guys down. We do have either Guzman Hollow, but we can't use it right now. We'll make dude discard the Yeah, we'll discard the Guzman Hollow. We'll make dude discard the Guzma. 
So you find a triple of energy. 36, 9, 12, 130. Let's go ahead and stretch here. Back at your hand to find a regular Snorlax. Put that guy down. G Max Fall. All right. <clears throat> so let's we'll see what happens here. If he if he takes a knockout, he goes to one prize card, and then we end with one. Hopefully, that's enough to stick. That is my game plan. We'll see if it works or not. We can't ever one shot one of these guys, which is the problematic part. Now, if he max, oh, okay. Well, that puts a damper on things. Smooth over. A strong. VMAX. Oh, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So he's not going to one-shot us unless he hits, like, Deontay or something. All right. Now he has to hit a Friday. Oh, my goodness. Ooh. Well, that's pretty much game there. <laughs> uh, Snorlax, VMAX, no. Oh well. We'll have some fun here. Yeah, unfortunately, we got the turn two set up. We could have, like, super set up if we wanted to and, like, easily uh, beat that guy. Or, like, if it wasn't a VMAX, like, with over 300 HP, we would have knocked him out. But unfortunately, Colossal has so much HP. We, it's one of the VMAXs we can't touch. Uh, so. I know we can't take a knockout. Like, I get that. Like, we're just doing this for fun now. So. Yeah, unfortunately, Colossal uh, will destroy us. But we'll have some fun. Let's have some fun and uh, barely whiff the knockout. There's VMAX. Well, put this here. Let's go egg. Let's go ahead and do this for this. I just really want to film a bench up and do as much as we can. So it is possible, as you see, to easily hit like the full bench mount even without shaming. And that's what I'm really trying to prove in this tournament. Now, the Colossal Emax, unfortunately, yeah. Like, we can't one shot that thing. Like, 15 more HP, you would need, like, Muscle Band plus Giovanni Scheme. And that would one shot him. So, like, maybe that's what you play. Maybe play a Muscle Band and a Giovanni Scheme. And then, uh, is it Giovanni Scheme? Kakui could do 20 more. Oh, yeah. So you do Kakui plus Muscle Band? No, that's not enough. That's only 40 more. We're 50 off. Uh, I don't know. Uh, dude, that's... He hit the he had the ace roll, man. And then hit the energy. I don't know if that was, like, planned or not, but... Oh, well. Still, good, good game, Nico. I don't know. Is that the Nico that's, like... Maybe it's not. I don't know. So. Hey, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow. For sure. We'll see my opponent's deck list. Oh, we saw it in the beginning. What are you talking about, Josh? We put it... Uh, I'm still trying to decide if we're going to see your opponent's videos. Maybe I'll do it like this. We'll, like, look at my opponent's decks at the end of the match. And now everything is a surprise. So, yeah. There's his list, Colossal VMAX with the eruption of shot, does 40, and then 90 more damage if you discard an energy card. Uh, you see Deontay do an extra 20 damage, Macargo for that smooth over. He did play a 1-1 one -one split for that send your opponent's, opponent's active Pokemon is not burned, and defending Pokemon can't retreat. Mr. Mime so they can't pick up Pokemon with damage on it. 
Uh, and this is a really good deck because Pico Realm is like really busted and expanded. So like went to the tournament like expecting that Pico Realm is like the most dominant. Uh, and you know, it's okay. It's okay. We're having fun here. Yo, we had the turn to like we could have super like knocked out something, but uh, there's no point to like hitting it all the way. And then like if he was going to heal it, he was going to heal it regardless. And well, that's what happened. So a plan backfired. The plan was to end him to one, and then hopefully it works. But it didn't. So, oh well. It is what it is. Uh, guys, hope we do a video. We can see that Snorlax is definitely going to struggle against Colossal VMAX. So, hopefully we don't play against two of those in this tournament. How many Colossal VMAXs are in this tournament? Let's see here. And there's so many tournaments going on right now. There's 20 Colossals. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright guys, so much for your video. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow for round number three. Alrighty, bye.